Many times, it is often useful to plot results like the magnetic flux density, etc., in a cylindrical coordinate system. EMS allows you to plot results in Cartesian coordinate systems as well as cylindrical coordinate systems. Now, let us see how one can accomplish plotting your magnetic flux density in a cylindrical coordinate system. This kind of plotting, especially in a cylindrical coordinate system, becomes very useful if you have, say, like a radial Holbach magnet example that I have here. So, I have solved this example and it's easy to um, understand and get a plot of the magnetic flux density using a Cartesian coordinate system as you see here. But how would you translate the same plot into a cylindrical coordinate system? To do that, let's right click on the magnetic flux density and create a 3D fringe plot. Now, you can select the coordinate system, you can change it to a cylindrical coordinate system. It's very important now to select an axis that you defined in SOLIDWORKS to enable this plot. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to create the axis and select the axis that I created in SOLIDWORKS. Now I have several different options to plot. So I can plot the radial component, which I guess is probably the most important one. So for example, I'm going to plot the radial component of my magnetic flux in a cylindrical coordinate system. So when I say OK, now you can see the magnetic flux, the radial distribution of my magnetic flux in this air geometry surrounding your um, Holbach array. But I can go ahead and take a section plot. And here I can see the, the radial component of my magnetic flux density plotted in a cylindrical coordinate system. One can do many things, you know, you might want to see how your flux varies, you know, as you move from the center. So I can go ahead, I can go and probe and I can basically pick points as a function of my radius and the value of the, um, the normal flux or the value of the flux, the radial flux in the cylindrical coordinate system will be selected. I can cast this into some kind of a, a numerical plot here in the xy axis to see how from the center as I go the radial component of the flux varies as a function of time along this particular line that I chose.